Okay, I just wanted to do a quick little vlog of sorts, um, even though that's not normally what I do, but I <clears throat> have these cute little readers to review. I thought it'd be better if I could just show you what they look like. I got these from Timber Doodle. They are very inexpensive, which is my favorite kind of reader, honestly. Um, but they're separated by different letter sounds. We did this book with my seven-year-old, and she did not have too much trouble reading it. And she's she's a hesitant reader. She doesn't really find reading practice a lot of fun, and I try not to force it, which just means she's lagging a little bit behind her grade level. But she did okay with these. Um, I like how the illustrations are cute. You could color these when you completed them. They're that cheap, I wouldn't mind. And then, of course, you could make little flashcards or whatever you wanted with the words. Right now, we're doing a lot of grammar work. I was just thinking it'd be cute if she sorted these into, um, you know, nouns and prepositions and whatnot. But maybe we'll do that. But we did do this, and I wish I had it to show you, but I did it several months ago, and I've tossed it since then. Don't tell me. Any. But um, at the end of every book, I was really surprised to find out because I didn't realize when I ordered these, I thought they were just little phonetic readers, but there's these cool little ideas at the end of every book. So as you can see, we took a box, it wasn't a cereal box, but we took a box, and we folded it up, and she's very artistic, she loves to draw, so we made this, and she actually cut out some uh, magazine pictures of B-words, and she has some really creative things in there, like bottom of basket, and bottle, and bear, and things like that. Anyway, these are super cute. And you know what? You think, well, what do I need a carry bag for? I don't know why kids love stuff like that, but they do. Well, at least my daughter does. It's like her special little carry book. So we've brought these to the hospital a few times. My daughter has a lot of like medical appointments and um, she has a lot of therapies and surgery as of late. So IQ testing for four hours. There you go, take out what you need. You need to review W, bring a pack of crayons, set them right in there. I wouldn't say they're like the best phonetic readers. Like my daughter who has dyslexia, I would not, this would not be my starter book. But for typical kids who can kind of, you know, decode well, I would say not much works for my daughter with dyslexia. We have, we have this, this is what we have for her. Yeah, you can't take that to the hospital, right? <laughs> but look at these cute ideas. It's worth it just for all these great little ideas. It's little crafts. If you have a child that doesn't like crafting, which I really don't know many kids who don't like to try to pour glue all over the table, but how cute is this? Let's get one more. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think there's any downside to these. They're just really cute. Let's find a different color. Some of these are upside down. And also we do like a, um, we have like a little rolling cart that we set, which you're gonna see how messy the inside of my house is right now, but well, maybe not too bad, but we have this little rolling cart where we put um, different activities in for the girls. And I'll just throw a couple of these in there this summer for my daughter. Super easy. Little Miss Jill. Can you kick it in that? Look, Jill's playing soccer. Oh, Jill. Jill's super athletic. I love it. We haven't made it this far. Short eye. Let's see what the handy activity in the back is. Yeah, I, I think we're going to be utilizing these much more over the summer when we take a short break. Um, and we don't ever actually really take a break but from from learning, but as homeschoolers, create your own book. So yeah, I would definitely, I would like read one or two of these a week. I mean, depending on if it's, your child's way over this, obviously, not the right thing for you, but kindergarten, first grade, I'd read, read it a couple times a week. Get familiar with all the sight words. You can make little flashcards if you wanted. You could illustrate your own little books. And then do the activity like on a Friday, you can have a little tea party, read your book. So many cute ideas. Color it one day. 
I recommend these. I like them. I see nothing, no downsides. Cute carry case, durable. It could be raining, you would be all set. From Creative Teacher Press. Remember the random hair that's kind of gross, sorry. Oh yeah, here's the whole, here's the whole progression. I'll write a post and just take a picture and put this on there. That's a lot of books. Timber Doodle, y'all. They're looking out for you. It's a good deal. Pick them up. Peace out.